to begin with, um, you know, you guys jumped on them early out there, and even in the first inning, you had an opportunity. How important was it to jump out to an early lead? Well, I mean, it, it's always good to get on top and make a team chase, and, and we felt again with the guys that we had coming at the bottom of the pen, uh, at the tail end of our pen, if we can make a team chase uh, advantage Hoosiers. But no, I mean, it's just good for us to start seeing us swing the bat a little bit better now. So uh, I was pleased with that. Dustin Demuth, huge game today. Uh, easy to say that he's happy to be back at Sun Barrow Field. I, I would say so. Uh, yeah, you know, and he's a good hitter. The kid's done it at this level. Um, if I'm not mistaken, was second the Big Ten in hits last year. So he knows he can hit. We know that he can hit, and it's good to see him get some results. You know, today with uh, I guess yeah, four for four. So that's that's pretty good. Has his approach changed since uh, he struggled early in the season? Well, to now? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just a matter of trying to figure out what pitchers are trying to do to you, and then you've got to make adjustments on that. And we talked about that before the game, and I thought he did a really good job of executing his offensive plan today. Coach, you talked about playing the best before Big Ten season. He's uh, five for seven, and Basil is five for eight in the last two games. You approach Big Ten play. You know how how when the freshmen can see that the upperclassmen do that. How how much does that help your team as you approach Big Ten? Play? Uh, it's it's huge. I mean, we've been saying all along we're struggling right now, record wise. I Man, you know, early in the season, good opponents and things like that, playing good teams, but Mike and Dustin really not doing a lot offensively and. So it's tough when you ask a bunch of freshmen to carry the load for you. So yeah, I, you know what, but I would trade it all. I would much rather have these guys swinging very well right now as we head into conference play as opposed to early and taking a dive. So as long as we get ourselves ready for conference and keep playing and keep battling, which we are, and that's exactly what I said to us, that some of our guys now are starting to swing the bat, which like we know they can, so that's going to be good for us. Can you talk a little bit about Michael Basil's confidence at the plate these past couple games? He really looks locked in there. Yeah, he. Is. I mean, he's just seeing the ball much better. He's getting started earlier, which is something he's really been working on, and just seeing the baseball. And uh, I just think he feels really, really comfortable right now. It must look like a watermelon to him uh, because he's taken pitches. Uh, I think it may be in the last couple of games he's only swung maybe one bad pitch. So. Um, as I said, it's good as we roll into conference for those guys, Mike in particular, to be, be feeling comfortable. McHenry got the win today on the mound. Uh, how important was his performance out there? Really shut it down in the first four innings. Yeah, he's competitive. He's not going to blow you away with a bunch of velocity or anything like that, but he just he does a good job of changing speeds in the zone, and he's a competitive kid. So I'm very happy for him to get that first one under his belt. And, and uh, you know, that kid just keeps, whether it's offensive or defensive, he just keeps showing up every single day. And he's going to help us win some games. Coach, um, in the sixth inning, when Chad Clark um, tried to stretch that hit into a triple, is that part of the small ball mentality you tried to implement at the beginning of the season? Does, would he have stayed at second if, it, if the game was a bit closer? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you could, you know, that's kind of a judgment thing. You don't ever want to make the first or third out at uh, third base. Obviously, we wouldn't have brought him if we didn't think he was going to make it. But they made a good relay, and, uh, you know, credit to them. They threw it right on the money and got him. It's still a close play and probably could have gone either way. But, uh, I, you know, he was out. But I, you know, I love the aggressiveness right there. Coach, I want to take you back to Sam Travis's second at bat of the game, uh, the one where he hit the home run two left. It looked like they were throwing him curveballs all game. They were trying to get him off on the out speed, off speed pitches. Adjusted, roped a home run over the left field wall. Did you tell him anything about to adjust to those curveballs to look for it? Yeah, and, and you know, that's just one of the things we talk about is until a guy shows he can throw the breaking ball over the plate, take it, spit on it. You get a fastball to hit, and that guy did a really nice job of throwing the two breaking balls in his first at bat with runners at first and second. And we said second time, hey, if you come up with guys on, they're probably going to spin some breaking balls at you. Be ready for it. Sit on it. And he sat on it. Got it. Yeah, he got all of it.